Hello to all of our brave parents out there. This video today is going to be about resets, specifically about resetting a child's brain when they're having behaviors. So if you guys have a child that are having behaviors and you don't know what to do, stick around, you're gonna wanna catch this video. brave parents. Today we are talking about resets and I want to give you guys three stories uh, that I was myself actually involved in with kids that used resets and it was absolutely amazing how it worked. The first one I want to talk about is Jade who is our daughter. With Jade, we have been using resets for a very long time. Um, probably ever since she was placed with us, we learned this technique in children's therapy with her. And so we have been using it for quite some time. I want to give you an example of when one of the times Jade was at her absolute worst and it was before she was diagnosed with anything and we were just coming into her seventh birthday and we, she had had defiance before um, but her behaviors just kind of got a little bit more intense and then come to find out she had other things going on. So Jade was eventually diagnosed with a sensory processing disorder, ADHD, ODD, and using these resets um, have really helped with the defiance piece and also resetting her brain. Um, I don't know if you're familiar, but when you have a child that has sensory processing disorder, um, with our kids at least, and with what they're going through with it, uh, they really love a lot of input. And so when their brains get kind of out of control, they will use sensory input to calm their brains down. So Jade would do things like uh, she would run herself into walls or she would roll herself down the stairs or she would do uh, just anything that she could get a lot of extra input. Um, sometimes she would, she would punch her legs. And so we found that using resets really helped reset her brain um, and then she, she would not always have to do those things uh, to calm her brain down. We also learned a lot about um, sensory processing, processing disorder and things that we could use in the home for her to uh, use um, instead of having to do those things. So like the weighted vest and her pod swing and things like that. If you guys haven't caught our sensory processing video, I will link that down below. That is on our Conley clan um, YouTube page uh, and so I will link that down below so you guys can watch that video if you're interested in that but using a reset also helped to reset her brain so what we would do is when she would be in the middle of having her temper tantrum we would call her name and it might take a couple times but we would say Jade hey Jade and once we had her attention then we would say Hmm, do you think that maybe you could name um, like five things that are blue in this room? And she would think about it for a second and she would say, well, yeah, I can do that. And she would, she would name five blue things. Now we did not always ask her to name blue things. Sometimes it might be find something square in the room or maybe it's find something orange or we would use different things that we would ask, but the reset always worked. So every time she would be out of control, we would be able to use that reset. Now, that doesn't mean that uh, once she calmed down that she, she wanted to do what she was asked. A lot of times we would have trouble getting her to shower at night, and so uh, maybe we would ask her to shower then after that, and sometimes she would go back out of control. But that reset really helped to take her from focusing on her temper tantrum um, and what she was upset about 
to resetting her brain and then she would be fine after that reset. So she would name the five blue things and then all of a sudden she had come out of her temper tantrum. And then we were able to start over again. And then a lot of times what we would do is we would offer her um, something else so that way she would not have a fit. So we might say, maybe you wanna pick a special toy to shower with, or we would give her other alternatives to make it a little more fun since we knew she didn't like that. But that reset really helped her to refocus her brain and then allowed us to start over again. Another time that I had experience with resets was when we had a 16 year old, well he was 15 when he was placed with us and then he turned 16 um, in our house and he was um, diagnosed with FAS and that is fetal alcohol syndrome. And so we would, a lot of times he would, he would get very out of control too at times um, where he'd get very upset. Sometimes he didn't like taking his medicine and so that could have effects on him. Uh, but he really had some people that were close with him that he worked with. And so he would get on the phone um, with one of the women that worked with him and he would talk to her and he would calm down. And so one time I got on the phone and I said, how in the world are you getting him to calm down? I'd love to know your secret so I can use it in the home. And she told me that she was using resets. So she would talk to him about something that she knew he was interested in and it would take his brain from thinking about what he was upset about to thinking about what she's talking about that he was interested in. And it worked every time for him. Now, you know, not taking meds is a whole nother story. Um, and so, you know, we would have trouble sometimes if he wasn't taking his meds where maybe the resets would not work. But they would, it, it was like a miracle that the resets would work even with someone his age. Um, you know, I thought, for sure that when I used it on Jade, she's very smart. I thought she would know exactly what I was doing and she didn't. I, I could use that over and over again and she never caught on to that. And neither did the you know teenage boy that we were working with. Um, he you know would start talking about whatever it was he was interested in, and it would refocus his brain. And then we were able to start back over again and have another shot at you know asking um, what it was that we wanted, the request that we wanted. And so it's really helpful in getting everything to start over so you can try again. The last story I want to tell you, I, I was at daycare and I was picking up and this is actually how I became friends um, with one of the foster moms that I'm really close with. And she had two placements, they were brothers, and they were going to the same daycare that our kids went to and they were a fairly new placement and they were having lots of behaviors. And at the time I walked in, she was, I don't think that she was there quite yet. Um, and one of the boys was throwing things and she happened to walk in um, as this was going on and you know, was trying to get the boys to calm down. The daycare professionals at our daycare are um, really good with foster children. And, um, you know, they were, they were phenomenal with ours. They were really good at working with behaviors and they would really, really take um, a lot of extra time for the kids that needed it. So they were trying to help and, you know, nobody was able to get the kids under control. They were just so upset that they just couldn't focus on anything else. And one of the boys in particular was, um, was just lashing out and having a really hard time. And in this instance, you know, all of us trying to get them to calm down. And I remembered the resets. And so I sat down next to one of the boys and I tried talking to him. 
and it took a little while. It probably took me about five minutes to figure out what I could use for him. I didn't ask about shapes or blue or I felt like maybe he was a little bit too out of control. Now it did work for Jade, but you know, I was not familiar with the boys and I was a stranger to them. But what I did was I started talking to him and I started asking him questions and he wasn't calming down and he wasn't calming down. And I looked over at his shoe that he had been throwing and it had a superhero on it. And it, it occurred to me in that moment that he loved superheroes. And so I started talking to him about the superheroes and it only took about 15 seconds and he started engaging. He started engaging in that conversation about the superheroes and he started telling me who he liked most and he started telling me why he liked him. And we were able to use that moment as a reset for him because once his brain stopped focusing on being upset and his brain transitioned to focusing on having a conversation with me about something that he really enjoyed, it, his, his temper tantrum stopped and he was able to calm down and his brain focused on telling me about that superhero that he really liked instead of using his energy to throw a temper tantrum. So those are the three times that I have personally used resets where we were having big explosions. Now, we use resets all the time in our house. Sometimes it's using the find, you know, find five blue things or, you know, find five circles. And a lot of times now we just use things that, that the kids are interested in. So I might, um, you know, we have Charlie who she's three, she has temper tantrums. Um, with her, I might ask her about things that I know she's interested in instead of using the colors and shapes. Uh, but I will ask her maybe about her favorite shoes or maybe I'll ask her about her shirt she's wearing. Or, you know, we might talk about she really loves um, PJ Mask and those kind of shows. She loves Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> and so sometimes I'll use those things as resets instead because I know they're things that she's really interested in. Guys, all you have to do is know a little bit about your kids and what they're interested in and you can totally transform their temper tantrums um, and reset them so you can restart and it really helps to be able to get another chance um, to start over. Using the resets have been phenomenal for us. We have used them with many of our foster children. We use them with our own children and they really have been super beneficial in helping us to curb behaviors and get that second chance. So that way we can just start over, um, start fresh and try to see if we can get them um, to do the request in a new way. Thanks for watching today, guys. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, click here to subscribe to our channel. And if you're interested in catching that sensory processing disorder video I was telling you about earlier, it is on our family channel, but you can click here to catch that video next. Bye.